Hello guys, Master Gamer here. Yes, it's me, Master Gamer. Uh, sorry guys, I haven't been around um, a lot lately. Um, you know, college life and stuff, coming down with homework and everything else. Uh, you know how it goes. Uh, I've been actually been knee deep in trying to get some assignments completed so you know I can make the grade up here at college and stuff. And that explains so much of the just reason why I haven't been posting videos or really the fact I hadn't really been completing the Borderlands 2 walkthrough. I'm very sorry about that, but uh, I like to say thanks to some of the other commentators and people that's been watching saying that they understand that, you know, we all have lives and we all can't, you know, post at the same time. So, you know, kudos and uh, kudos go out to you guys today. And you know, re much respect. So, you know, thank you for understanding uh, my whole entire situation. I know I've been posting on Twitter about me putting up the, uh, my scheduling and this and that, but the truth is, guys, I was getting ready to post that stuff up, but then something came up here at school that I had to take care of, and by the time I took care of that, uh, it it was already a little bit too late for me to uh, post up anything. I was pretty much bummed out, tired from taking care of business, so then I tried I kept putting it off and then they kept getting put and off and put off and put off and put off and to to the point where they didn't ever get posted. Well today that's all gonna change because today with along with this part of this Borderlands two walked with a uh, little brief summary, uh me and Gibson when they said when we take on Captain Flint, you know, basically stage a mutiny on his ship and we basically have to get to this town of Sanctuary where we're we're gonna join up with the resistance uh to help take down handsome jack uh that's a little quick summary for that and then you guys basically see all the cool action and my cool turn from when it was just a baby okay um back to what i wanted to also talk about in this video now what i was talking about before you guys talking about my my, my schedule was my schedule well actually it's gonna be two parts to this schedule this part of the schedule i'm actually gonna tell you guys the time and then i'm gonna make a video sh actually posting the times of, of my new schedule uh, when time you guys will be able to see uploads of my videos now here is the days for my uploads of my videos so if you guys want to hear this again you can always just rewind the video but also expect like a real just no, no commentary just a posting of when days i'm going to do my videos now the days i'm going to do my videos or will not do my videos upload my videos is sunday like today every sunday i will be uploading videos to youtube because that's like when i basically get a break from everything i've done for the whole entire weekend in the days of the week sunday is an upload day wednesday is an upload day because uh every wednesday i'm that's the middle of the week and i'm pretty much done for the classes for that day wednesday is an upload day fridays what is also starting to be an upload date because um, I'm starting to get a, a little bit less homework in my classes. My projects are starting not to be due a little bit later on in the month. So Friday is an upload day. Now, as for Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, don't really expect too much of an upload uh, from me on them days because those days are really the core days I, I'm in class and taking care of business and doing homework. So don't all, if I do ever upload anything on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, it's a real rarity oh in Saturdays it's I forgot Saturday sometimes if I also upload stuff on Saturday that's a real rarity too uh, because um, I'm mostly always doing on Saturday it's always really been my homework doing days but Tuesday and Thursday that's when my just tour my classes are really are so don't really suspect too many uploads if you do it's like a super spare rarity like if I don't really have many class or much homework to do, I may choose on, like on them days to upload videos. So once again, guys, my upload days are Sunday, gotcha. Wednesday, and, and Fridays. And I'm starting to try to think if I want to make Mondays too. Uh, Mondays is still up in the air, but you know, be on the lookout for Mondays as well. I'll put it under that list. So I'm gonna say it again, Sunday, probably Mondays. Fridays and on Sundays. Those are my upload days. So, you know, you want to hear all that over again, uh, please rewind the video and such. But um, be look on the lookout for a video that's going to be uh, posting, because it's going to be posting very soon, again, explaining all of my uh, update dates. But, um, uh, you know how you been guys um, I've been straight you know tank you know been up here in college and I'm repeat myself again but yeah I've been up here working real hard trying to you know be a 
trying to be a game designer. That's what I want to be out my life. So, you know, I'm trying to make sure that that dream becomes a reality because really my YouTube commentary, even though I love doing commentary stuff, this is basically like a little step in stone that help build my rep. So when I do become a big game designer, I have, you know, like a YouTube channel where I can show off all my material and fans that has been with me for years, you know, to see everything else and basically give me love and support. So that's the whole just reason why. I pretty much have a YouTube uh, commentary channel, but the other reason why I have it also is because I also want to do game walkthroughs to help out people and show different things that people may not know, have known when they've been playing video games and could try something else differently. That's also the second reason why I make you know, game walkthroughs, love making them, and I always continue on making them. Um, but you know, uh, I've also been you know trying to look for a job up here, and it's not been easy, you know. I don't know what's going on with this university and whenever time you sit up and apply for stuff, they always never want to get back to you after you know you get up all in their face and everything, they still never want to say nothing. So I've been trying to work on that, trying to give me a job up here so I can you know, get this work study all sorted out because you know they the government paid me a good amount of work study, but the problem is I mean using any I can't find nobody. So I'm trying to steadily look for a job up here so I can you know, get some money in my pocket so I can keep doing this and buy some new upgraded equipment because I'm, I'm planning over winter break to get a job and then some point before the winter semester starts I want to have a new uh, a new HD recorder because um, I know you guys have been showing love for me using a Dazzle. I know some commentators currently use a Dazzle have been making it work. Or I've been making it work. But I think it's a little bit of time I upgraded. Um, I think the Dazzle has grown a little bit old. Um, from when I first got the Dazzle, that was currently the HD um, recorder that everybody was using. Uh, the reason how I knew about the Dazzle is because uh, the current gaming commentator that I was watching at the time, he was using a Dazzle, but it wasn't an HD. This is before he got his HD PBR, and he was suggesting everybody, you know, use this Dazzle. The Dazzle was good. So at the time, everybody was pretty much using a Dazzle and not like an HD PBR or a Roxio. Um, I'm looking into more getting the, um, I think it's called the Elto Gaming Capture Card. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But I'm looking into getting that. That capture card looks pretty sweet. Not so much of um of a rock seal because I'm looking for a capture card that I can use with my Mac, and that one is compatible with a Mac. So I'm really gonna be edging to get to that one. I've been seeing some people use it. It looks good, so I'm planning on getting it. Um, I'm, I'm I don't know about if I'm, if I'm ever gonna use Sony Vegas, but if I ever get the money to enough to use Sony Vegas, uh. Um, I will plan on using it. Uh, I just may need some help, uh, you know, walking me through how you use Sony Vegas, or you may see some little messed up parts here and there. But if I do plan on getting Sony Vegas, uh, you can expect me to use that because the current program I'm using now is called Pinnacle Studios 14. For those that don't know, for those that do know, it's a pretty good way, you know, for you know starting commentators that's wanting to get into this. Get into the game by, you know, learning how to use a capture card system, stuff like that. I learned a little couple of nits and tricks, you know, to make it look good enough for, you know, to watch it on your computers and everything. But, you know, I want to get better. I want to have like a 2.0 version. So um, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, another thing about Borderlands 2, the uh, Mega Master is coming out in the next two weeks. I know it sucks. You, you think they will probably, you know, hurry up for a release date. But um, do expect me, and I hold true to this all the way, do expect me to, you know, show like a whole walkthrough of her skill trees and her person in general. Um, I'm trying to get some friends together so, you know, we can do like a walkthrough of a team of nothing but macromancers. So, you know, we can play through the game like that. I think that would be awesome. I know I got a couple of friends right now that's talking about playing the game over again. I'm trying to see if they can you know get that down another thing another reason why i have also been going i am looking for partners i don't know if you guys have seen that on my twitter but as you can see by me being in college my up uh, my uploads don't really aren't is really as high as they were over the summer so the way how i look at it is if i can get partners uh 
I can transfer some of the workload over to them. Like if I'm out doing something, a partner of mine that also is doing the same thing could take over for that, you know, just period of time and keep showing a walkthrough until I'm, you know, ready and able to come back. So I've been talking to a couple of people about, you know, getting a blog set up, trying to work on some other things, you know, getting a website all set up and helping them, you know, start their own YouTube channel getting to the point where we could, could join them and try to do some live streams and stuff like that. So I'm I'm been working on that. So you know I've not been totally going and relaxing and doing homework. I've also been working on some stuff for my YouTube channel, you know, to help make it better and everything. So uh, you know I'm trying to get that uh from out from from being out in the air and actually into a solid reality. So now you guys have a little bit of taste of knowing what I've been working on for the channel. So uh, with that, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Um, I have some other stuff to do, but here's another part of the Borderlands 2 walkthrough. I'm planning on uploading another part today, so, you know, don't let this think this is going to be just the end when you see the end. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys real soon. All right, guys, peace. will digitally construct a vehicle for you. Give it a try. Welcome to Dr. Damn it. Oh, sorry. Uh, darn it. A man named Scooter controls these Ketcherite machines. He may be short a few chromosomes, but he's a savant when it comes to vehicles. He's locked the station to prevent the bandits from using it, but I'm reading an inactive Hyperion bot in the Bloodshot camp. If you can attach its interface adapter to the Ketcherite, 
I could hack the machine and get you a car. Remember, we're always open. Ha! Promotion! Wisdom is strength. Just attach the adapter onto the catcher ride, and I'll get you a free car. Executing phase shift. Time to train. Wait a moment while I hack the catcher ride. <laughs> Authorized user accepted. Enjoy the ride. Bye for cool. Try requesting another car. Charmer, that one. You should now be able to digestruct a car from any catch a ride station. Now use one to jump that gap. Seat is sticky. Why is it sticky? Great. Now head to Sanctuary and find Roland. He'll want to meet the Vault Hunter who stared down handsome Jack and lived.
us in, Grinder. We're only gonna. You're never getting into sanctuary, you bloodshot skaglicks. Hold up. You're a vault hunter. No worry. Who do wanted to talk to? Let me echo it. Jimmy, you know what I've been hearing on this radio chatter about? My name's Roland. I used to be a vault hunter like you. Until I pulled the crimson raiders. We'll catch up when I get back to sanctuary for now. My men tell me Corporal Reese has a return to power core that we need to get to see the shit. When we always back to sanctuary, I'll be able to get back to the place.